Hello, this is Mike Crimmins from the University of Arizona. I'm an extension specialist in climate science, uh, focusing on agriculture and natural resources management. Been working with rangeland managers in the Southwest for the past 15 years. This video will provide a quick overview of the Standardized Precipitation Index Explorer tool. The SPI Explorer tool emerged out of a collaborative drought planning project with the Tano National Forest in Arizona and local ranchers in 2015. Surveys and workshop evaluations within the project indicated a general interest in learning more about indices and climate forecasting. Region 3 of the Forest Service also uses the SPI as a forest-wide drought trigger when values fall below negative 1. We developed an online interactive tool and accompanying training exercise to illustrate the main concepts behind the SPI and local drought histories. The SPI Explorer tool has continued to be developed as an operational drought monitoring tool. The SPI is a drought index based on historical monthly precipitation data and expressed in standard deviation units or z-scores. The SPI is also a multi-scalar index. It can be calculated over a range of different timescales from one month to many months or years. The SPI Explorer tool extracts monthly prism-based gridded temperature and precipitation time series from a selected point with data available for all locations within the continental U.S. from 1895 through present. The tool then calculates SPI or SPEI values for all timescales from 1 to up to 60 months. The Standardized Precipitation Evapotranspiration Index is a newly added precipitation and temperature-based drought index. Various summaries and visualizations to explore local drought conditions are then presented on several pages within the tool. To get started with the tool, click on the Set Location slash Time Period tab at the top of the page. Then double-click the map to select a location, adjust the time period if needed, choose the drought index you're interested in, click to download data, and then wait several seconds for the data to fully download. Once the data has downloaded, navigate to the Site Climate Summary tab at the top of the page. Here you will see a grid cell map with the location you clicked relative to the PRISM grid cell for reference. Site summary statistics including average temperature and precipitation for that location. A bar plot of annual total precipitation and annual average temperature for the time period you selected. A sortable table of all values in the plots and a button to download the table data into a CSV file. Next, you can navigate to the SPI Timescale Comparison tab. On this page, you will see a plot that compares 1, 3, and 12-month SPI or SPEI time series values to each other, and an interactive heat map to explore all SPI or SPEI values at all timescales. Next, click on the SPI Precip Comparison tab. Here you will find an interactive tool to select SPI or SPEI values for different timescales and end months. This will allow you to plot, for example, only summer drought index values over time and compare them to actual precipitation values. This page also displays frequency histograms and sortable tables of historical values. Finally, click on the Drought Category Transitions tab. On this page, you will find an interactive tool to explore the frequency of historical transitions between different seasonal drought index categories. This can allow you to ask questions like, how often are dry winters followed by wet summers, or vice versa? This kind of information can be useful to explore when there is large forecast uncertainty in conventional seasonal outlooks. The frequencies are displayed in heat map with counts of occurrences and also displayed in an interactive scatter plot at the bottom of the page. Just a reminder that the gridded precipitation data from PRISM only provides estimates of local precipitation based on interpolation. Use with caution and interpret the data carefully. 
This tool was developed using the R programming language and Shiny platform. This makes it easy to make changes and updates, and it's also easy to share the code. So please let me know if you have suggestions for the tool or would like the code for your own analysis. Thanks for your interest in the SPI Explorer tool. You can find the tool at this URL and can con contact me, Mike Crimmins, at this email with any questions or suggestions.